And if you have a cut that looks like mine, you can then manipulate the lateral ventricle and see inside of it. That is a fluid-filled space. If you poke around inside the lateral ventricle, you will find a pinkish material in there. Not coming out that well on this one. And you will see the choroid plexus of the lateral ventricle. It shows up as a light pink material right there. I pulled that out of the lateral ventricle. This is choroid plexus found in each of the ventricles. Okay? Circular device. What is that? There's a cerebrum. Now we're a little lower. What is that circular device? Remember the little bird eye? There's one over here too. It, had a, it has a third ventricle that surrounds it. That is called the intermediate mass of the thalamus. Let me put a pin in there so you can see it. Intermediate mass of the thalamus. Move laterally from that circular structure and you get the thalamus, part of the diencephalon. I'm not being very methodical. We have the cerebrum, the corpus callosum, the lateral ventricle with choroid plexus, the third ventricle with the intermediate mass of the thalamus, the optic chiasm, the pituitary. Let me get this thing out of the way. The pituitary gland, posterior pituitary, anterior pituitary, hypothalamus. Intermediate mass of thalamus, pituitary, hypothalamus, optic chiasm. The superior and inferior colliculi of the midbrain. The cerebral aqueduct of the midbrain, right there. The cerebral aqueduct. The fourth ventricle, right in here. The fourth ventricle in here. The midbrain. The pons. The medulla oblongata. The arbor vitae of the cerebellum, the folia of the cerebellum. Let me get some of these pins out of here. Do it again. Cerebrum, corpus callosum, lateral ventricle, choroid plexus, third ventricle, choroid plexus, intermediate mass of thalamus, optic chiasm, pituitary, hypothalamus, midbrain, cerebral aqueduct, fourth ventricle, cerebellum, Arbor vitae, folia, pons, medulla oblongata. What else you want to know? Where's the pons again? Pons is always a bulge. Okay? All right. We'll do one more cut. Let's get the lobes of the cerebrum. I didn't tell you those. We can't see the insular lobe on a dissection, so we can just skip it. What about but the horns? the other four lobes we can find. What about the horns? Lateral horn? Uh, that's a spinal cord thing, I think. Okay. And we haven't gotten to it yet. No, it says sheep brain. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We use a model for ventricular horns. Take a look on screen. What lobe is this? 
I'm pointing to? Frontal. Frontal lobe. What lobe am I pointing to here? Right. No. no. Temporal. Okay, which lobe is here? Uh, right. Right. Parietal and the lobe here? You're all done. Okay, you're done with that. All right. What is this part right here? Okay, so where do I go? Tell me where to point then to find the hypothalamus. Directly above there. Right there? Yeah. And where's the thalamus? Directly above there. Right there. Yeah. Okay. The third ventricle we can see right here. Here's some choroid plexus in the third. And the cerebral aqueduct. Look at the probe going in the aqueduct there. The probe is passing through the aqueduct towards the third. Okay? Which flows to the fourth. Where's the fourth? It's right in here. It's right in here. Okay? Any anatomy on the pig sheet that we haven't seen yet that you'd like to see? We're going to make it one more cut. With the ventricles, all we can see is their just basic area. Finding the detail on their, the horns of the lateral ventricle is something we do on a model, okay? Okay, well then the last cut is to take a look at white and gray matter of the cerebrum. What we'll do is we're gonna make a cut about right here, okay? Doesn't matter which side you choose, we're going to make a cut about right here, and we're going to be able to see gray matter and white matter of the cerebrum. So just make a cut nice and clean. You may also start to include a nuclei of the basal nuclei in this area here. <laughs> there's, there's superior and there's inferior. So, uh, there, goes, like. uh, there would be several of them down right in here. All right, yes. There is the cerebral cortex. Cerebral gray matter, cortex, 